the Royal London Theater for a much anticipated main event. Ten rounds of heavyweight action. And now the time has come. All the talk, now comes the walk. And he's up on the Well, they're scheduled to spend a half an hour swapping weather. This is a 10-rounder. Nice block that time. It was intended to the head. Crusher's landing a combination here. That's what he does when he's at his very best. Here's one for you now, he says. Right back with the left hand. He missed with that headshot. There's the headshot, but he parries it away. Oh, they both land flush with uppercuts. Solid uppercuts. He comes with the straight right hand. That was really well done. Targeting the jab and then thundering home with the uppercut. See, he's got his guard up really well that time, and it protects his head. Halfway through this round here. And there it is, coming with the jab by Bone Crusher. Able to block that away, it was targeted for his head. He's showing what a skilled fighter he is with this counter punching. Parries that punch intended for the head. That's a nice right hand that time by Crusher. Way to block there. We count down the final moments of this round. Come on, kid. Blocks away that headshot. And that's the end and of the round punch one. numbers tell that story. He tried to nab him up top, but was unable to connect. Bone Crusher's opponent landing an effective counter punch right there. A crushing power shot after blocking his opponent. Targeting that jab with the right hand behind it. Right on the mark with the hook up top. Oh, defense there. That was a fine block by Crusher. Good solid shots with the combo downstairs. That was a miss by Bone Crusher. And coming upon the halfway mark of this three minute round. There you go. Able to dismiss it. Well placed, straight right hand. Crusher's jab lands well. Crusher's doing exactly what he gets to him with an uppercut. Oh man, he's in rough shape after absorbing that blow. Stunned, but all of a sudden now surviving. A shooting right hand by Crusher. He covers up nicely, gets rid of his opponent's body shot. Must be the punch of the day. Both guys bringing home uppercuts. Ten seconds remaining in this round. Listen, everybody likes to see a great knockout shot. The foundation for comes by going downstairs. It's just like the old timers would say, Joe. You kill the body, the head will follow. Bone Crusher's offense has completely gone away here, it seems. He was hurt earlier, and now all he's doing is worried about what could be coming to get him again. Yeah, he was on the highway earlier going about 90, and now all of a sudden he's taking those back roads going about 20. How long until the police catch up to him or his opponent pulls him over? 
No, he took some damage, but he gave some back with the right hand. Bone Crusher's left now getting into the mix. Oh, how about that? Comes back with a power punch of his own. Good job. It was sudden, it was fast, it was direct by Bone Crusher. 90 seconds to go here in this round. A battering hook by Bone Crusher. Really good work right there, landing the two punches in sequence by Bone Crusher. Downstairs with a right hand. Bone Crusher's left, landing well. Get the tight inside. Blocks that punch. Good targeted left hook to the head, and here comes the uppercut behind it. Off target with that hook. And round three, Crusher's up around here after three rounds on Teddy's scorecard, but really nobody has distinguished himself to any great amount so far. Well, his opponent is opening up and coming forward, so I would think there are some opportunities that exist. Yeah, I think some counter-punching opportunities. Opportunities not on the front end, but on the back end. A stabbing right hand comes in by Bone Crusher. Bone Crusher's not just loading up. He's landing combination punches like he did right there. Here's a moment here as you see the step-back counterpunch where you realize this is the sweet science, not just some raw savagery swinging out there. Look at the little subtlety here, Joe. What he does is he forces him into a position to stop the punch. And then when he stops, steps back, makes a miss, and comes right back. Keep working the body. Very nice job landing that counterpunch, getting away from one that was coming at him by Crusher. Crusher's combination punching is working well here. Not what he was looking for. That's a miss right there by Bone Crusher. Bone Crusher's doing a nice job being comfortable on the outside. Scored well upstairs with the right hand. Right to the belt line. Commits to the straight right. Bone Crusher's putting his punches together now. That's a nice combination. Now, this is exactly what I love out of an offensive fighter, Teddy. A guy who's able to put together the multi-punch combinations and make it look like it's just a sweet science. Yeah, exactly. That's what you can do when you have good fundamentals. Not just good physical ability. That's only part of the equation. But just good technical ability. And that's what he's doing. He's snapping his punches. Critical in terms of trying to stop right the bleeding on that, that cut. But it's also critical because they need to put forth a new defensive game plan. Yeah, they have to make sure that they buy some time here and start moving their head, using their legs, tying up a little bit, doing anything to kill the clock and not get caught on that cut anymore. Beat him to the punch! Good looking right hand after he got hit. Oh, a nice two punch combo by Crusher. What a damaging blow. Nice hook upstairs. A little give and take, and here comes the left hand. Body shot lands. It was the right. A solid true uppercut by Bone Crusher. Missed the target with that hook. Oh, that's good stuff. Firing right back with one of his own. Good work by Bone Crusher. I like this kind of defense, Teddy. I like this kind of guy that just says, go ahead. Think you can try to hit me up top. You can't. Great movement.
A very good movement, very good vision. He sees everything. To do this, you have to be very calm. He's very calm. He's very in control. Lands flush with the two-punch combo by Bone Crusher. Scores up top with a left. Sets up that right hand with the jab. A stabbing right hand by Crusher. Nice work with the uppercut. Keep your back off the road. Up top with the right hand. Halfway through the scheduled rounds here. Smart punch right there. The uppercut works. He is damaged badly there. Big, big shot he just scored with. He just fought the other guy's fight. And now it's not his fight at all. He is down. No, he should have been on the inside. He pulled out, pulled out into a world of trouble, a world of punches. Hard to prepare for a situation like this, but many do. He's been down, now he's got to survive. So that's where you're wrong. It's not hard to prepare, it's a must to prepare. If you're a trainer, that's what you do in the gym. You teach a guy, if you're in this situation, this is what you do. You grab on, you move your head, you survive. Dismisses his opponent's headshot. Very effective with the block and in the score. That's a big, big shot he just scored with. And why did he score? Because he created range, created distance, created a hole, and he filled that hole. Bone Crush is taking his man lightly because he is up on the scorecards, but you can see that he is being pressured and pushed. You know, he's in there with a real solid guy. I don't think he's taking him lightly. It's just that he's in there in the kind of waters he's never been before, deep waters, and he's swimming harder than he's ever had to swim before. Good job with the left hand. It was sudden, it was fast, it was direct by Bone Crusher. Crusher's making for a tough target there. He gets away from that punch. Firing off the uppercuts. Great exchange. See that coming now. Come on. Focus. Focus. Working our way towards the bell. Last 10 seconds of the sixth. Bone crushers. He seems fully recovered to me. Here we are, the start of a new round, and a fighter that got tagged hard in the last round seems as fresh as could be. Well, when you push a fighter, when you push a human being to a dark place, that's when you're going to find out what's right inside of them, what's great inside of them. And he's responding just that way. In a strange way, now it could create an offensive opportunity. Crusher's opponent is drawn to that cut he opened up. But it now could force him to be reckless coming in. Uh, you're yeah, exactly right, Joe. You know, if you're the one cut, you have a job to do. You have a responsibility. You know, don't let that throw you off. You know, stay to your game plan. But if you force the cut, you have something that's a responsibility. Don't get over anxious like you just said. Don't just start going for broke. And that's exactly what he's doing. I got to stop and make this statement at this point in the fight. This may be, combined, one of the most amazing performances I have ever seen. How are they able to keep up this pace? Something way, way down inside, and it's beautiful to watch. That's a forceful two-punch combo by Crusher. Off to the side, a little swing and a miss going upstairs. That is a strong uppercut there. Look at that combination by Crusher. There's the uppercut, one of my favorite punches, and it works that time for him. Do that again. That looks good. Do that one more time. Bone Crusher is doing a good job tonight on the outside. He's able to score from the outside, keeping a safe distance away from his opponent. Come on. 
Final 10 seconds. Not able to land the headshot. As we start round number eight, Bone Crusher's up on Teddy's scorecard. I think that's clear to see, Teddy, but it's also clear to see that it has not been the easiest of nights for him. No, and it's clear to see we're coming up to a fork of the road. It could go either way. We're going to find out. Scoring with the right hand by Crusher. Crusher's jacked by an uppercut. Good clean shot, returning fire. Well done by Bone Crusher. Crusher's got those earmuffs on. He's got his hands tight against his body. But Teddy, still, some things are getting through. Yeah, I mean, it's kind of like driving a car, Joe. You know, and the, the weather's a little bad, and you say, I, I want to be safe here. I'm going to stop the car. You don't stop and park the car in the middle of the highway where cars are coming. I mean, he stopped right there in the middle of the highway. Cars are coming. You know, pull off somewhere. You know, get the heck out of there. Apple Find cut. the right parking Apple spot. Right open. Apple cut, baby. Come on. Away from the road. Good job. Good job, champ. That is a sharp uppercut by Bone Crusher. <laughs> Couldn't hit the elusive target with that straight right. Well-targeted two-punch combo by Crusher. That's a well-scored left hand by Bone Crusher. Last 10 seconds of the eighth round. Crusher's defense did a good job there, able to avoid that punch. And round eight, cut. The kind of cut that can end fight. Yeah, he has a gamble right now. You know, just got last call in the casino. They just said, you know, you got three more rolls of the dice. He's got to roll them. He's got to blow on them. He's got to do everything. Gets rid of that. It was intended for his head. He just missed that shot up top. Nice block by Bone Crusher. Well done that time, landing the counter punch. Crusher's done a really nice job of being able to land that back power hand. He's coming in with that straight punch and really scoring well. Yeah, well, he's getting a little bit of help because his opponent keeps leading with hooks in front. The old times would always say, don't lead with a hook from too far in front because his straight punch will find its way inside. If that keeps up, this is going to be a good night. The right hand scored by Crusher. Crusher's left, working well that time. Nice work with the overhand right. Not hitting his mark there, going upstairs. What impact from that uppercut by Bone Crusher. Boy, sharp two-punch combination by Crusher. Good shot to the head with that right hand. Boy, it really digs in when he decides to throw that uppercut. Good job. And that's the end of but round still, now. Teddy, I think he's slightly down on the scorecards. Yeah, the key is not what you think, Joe, even though I love what you think. But the key is what he thinks. He has to know that. It's very important for him. And a lot of times, a guy under pressure wants to know what he wants to know. He wants to maybe think in his mind that he's ahead. And it's important that somebody gives him the news. Good way to protect the midsection. Little head hunting with the left. Showing you some defense there with the block.
Keeps his hands up defensively, protecting the head. Nice work blocking that, and then an uppercut of his own. Effective work with that flush overhand right. Using those feet, using that jab on the outside well. And you know what? He used his head early in the fight because he went inside, which is really where he's set up for, and he got his opponent's respect. And now, that respect is paying off because he's being allowed to stay on the outside and control things. Last minute of this last round. That is Boxing 101. A nice, crisp combination by Crusher. Does he have enough three, this time to rise four, up and continue four, on? Five. The judges have put down their scores as we come to the end of a very exciting back and forth fight. Let's send it up to the ring announcer to hear.